Hey there, doers. If you're like me, you love a good promotional sale. And there's nothing like scoring a great deal, am I right, doers? Anyways, here at Stealthy Wood, we want to we wanna replicate that feeling and that same joy to our customers by offering discounts, coupons, and other promotions on our products. Now, promotions not only encourage customers to buy items from us, they also attract new customers to our business by tempting them with great deals. And promotions with limited availability entice our customers to pull the trigger on their potential purchase now before they miss out and the deal is gone. No matter how you slice it, promotions are a proven way to organically grow revenue. Now look, I could talk about this kind of stuff all day, but how about we just jump into our StealthyWood database so I can show you just how easy it is to set up promotions with Odoo Sales. So for this video, we're going to focus on discounts, but we have other tutorials that take a closer look at coupons, loyalty programs, and other types of promotions. So check those out as well. Now, enough chit-chatting. Let's jump in. Once again, we find ourselves on our sales dashboard. Now from here, we're gonna navigate up here to configuration and settings. Now, once that has a quick loading, you wanna make your way over to the pricing section over here. Now we'll wanna make sure that the discounts, loyalty and gift card option is activated. As you can see with ours, our feature is already selected just to save you time. If you need to activate it, just click that little checkbox, go on ahead and hit save over here and you're locked in. Now, once that you've done that, you'll probably be ready to join us on our magical promotions journey we're about to embark on. So speaking of, let's get things started by going up here to products and discounts and loyalty. So here on the discount and loyalty page, we'll find a few promotional programs that I've already set up. But let's click new because we're going to make another one. I can't get enough of these. All right. On the program form, we'll start by giving this a name. How about we create a 15% discount for our customers? So in that case, we'll title this 15% off orders. As always, it's because I'm very clever with these names. Moving forward, below the program name, you'll notice we have a program type. And if we click that field, we actually see a bunch of different options that we have. We can do a coupon, change this stuff here, loyalty cards, a lot of other things as well. Now, up at the top, we have and I'll go through them. Let's talk about the fact that we have coupons. Now this is used to generate specific coupon codes that we can send to individual customers. Up next, we have what I like to call next order coupons, which is a customer sends specific coupons they can use on their next order with us. But don't worry, like I said, there's a separate tutorial where I teach you how to configure coupons in general and in greater detail as well. So be sure to check that out. Then there's another option that I wanna talk about, which is the loyalty cards. And that allows you to set up a loyalty program for customers. But again, I go over that again in another video. Now moving on, promotions. That is a very general option that is typically used if our intent with this program doesn't exactly fit the criteria of any of those other specific options. Now the very other last one pretty much at this point is discount code. Is the option we use when we want our customers to enter a code at checkout in order to redeem the discounted benefits of a promotion. And I lied. Lastly, we have the buy X, get Y option. This option is used when we want to give away free, free products with any type of order. Like buy three cabinets, get a fourth cabinet free if you want more cabinets. Now for this video, we're actually going to go with discount code because all of those will be covered at some point as well. Now we're going to leave the currency field as is and direct our attention over here to the validity field. Now in this field, we can choose a date for the future for this promotion to officially end. So we're gonna select a date in the future and I'm gonna pick tomorrow. No, next week on the 7th, cause it's a lucky day. So we've already picked October 7th, which is a month from now. Okay, or if you actually never want it to expire, you actually just have to leave this blank and it'll be valid indefinitely at this point. Now beneath that, we can actually choose to limit the usage of this basically this promotion to a certain number of customers. Let's say for this one, I only want 420 usages. It'll only work 420 times. And that's beautiful. Now up next, if you're working in a multi company environment, you can make sure that this promotion only applies to a specific company here inside of the company field that I've hovered over, or you can leave it blank and it'll apply to all of your companies in your database. Now below that, we have a few other options with the available on field, where we can choose whether we want this promotion to be available on the sales app, website, point of sale. Now, obviously you would need to have these specific applications installed for these options to be available in this field. So please be sure to keep that in mind. 
Now, another thing that should be noted here is that the website option itself must be checked in order to use this promotion on your website and your store. Since most of our business comes from there, I think it's best we keep that box checked. Also, we want to actually, we want to make this discount to be usable on all of our websites. So we're actually going to leave this websites field as is to all websites. Okay, everything at this point looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at our rules and our rewards tab down here at the bottom. In this section, we could customize the conditional rules and rewards related to this promotion. At the moment, if our customers use this code right now that we have, that says promo code and a bunch of numbers, it basically means that their purchase will receive a discount, which is nice and all, but I think we can fine tune this a bit more. So in our case, we're actually going to click on the conditional rules again. We're gonna add one at this point. Now let's start by changing the discount code associated with this promo. And in our case, I've actually created a new one. I actually want to edit the other one. So let's change this one from promo code and a bunch of numbers over here after our Odoopsie to Odoopsie 15 because I messed up. There, that's perfectly better at this point. You also notice that there aren't any conditions set right now. So let's adjust a couple things. What if we make it so they get a 15% discount with a purchase of $100 or more? Well, in our case, we want that to be 100 right there. And now it's set up. And let's actually make that to be tax include. No, actually, let's exclude tax. We want to be making sure we get our profit margins. Now, down here in the among section, we can choose specific products or product categories that would need to be purchased to count towards this minimum purchase price. But personally, I want this promotion to apply to all of our products. So we're actually just going to leave these all blank. OK, I'm happy with how everything looks at this point. So let's go ahead and click save and close. Beautiful. We're all done now. Rewards. And this is very important. We're going to click on the existing one. OK. For the reward type, we have the option to give a discount, a free product, free shipping, and that type of stuff. We are working with a discount. But let's talk about some of the other ones. So for the reward field, now the reward for this promotion is set to 10% on specific products. And that is because well, we want the 10% to apply on things such as our Stealthy Wood t-shirt, which you could see over here inside of the discounted product section, which is great and all. But we also have the option to give them a discount on their entire order or the cheapest product on their order as well. Actually, while we're here, I'll fill you in on a little trick. If you ever wanted to do a promotion where the customer gets their cheapest item free, here's how you do it. You select this count up here, right? And then you want to change it over here to... 100% on, and you're following me here, cheapest product. Boom, pretty easy, right? This is just one of the many ways you can customize promotions with Odoo, but for this example, we're gonna go with a more straightforward approach, a 15% discount on the entire order. So see, right there, it's perfect. Now to the right, you'll notice that we have the option to enter a maximum discount, which would put a limit on how large of a discount a customer could get as a monetary amount. We also have the option to add in a custom description, as you could tell down here, and this will make it, you know, visible to your customer when they make their purchase. So it's a good idea to put stuff there. Now the default description will just tell them what it is, and it's pretty good. So at this point, I actually want to hit save and close. Boom, now that we're all done, I'm also gonna save manually. I wanna lock all of this in. And there we go. Those are the ins and outs of how to configure a discount program using Odoo. Now, whenever a customer uses the Odoopsy, the Odoopsy 15 code, sorry, it's really funny. They'll get a 15% discount on their entire order, but they better act quick because once that this code has been used 420 times, it'll no longer work, just like we configured. So let's see that in action. So here we are on the Stealthywood website. Now let's select something to buy. We're going to buy this large cabinet because it ends in 20. We're going to add that to the cart. We're going to go to that cart. And you see the section over here that says discount code. Well, we're about to have an Odoopsy right there. And this time, it'll save us 15% on our order. Just like that. Boom. Say goodbye to 15% of that total because we just used our newly configured discount code. That's it, folks. That's how you quickly and easily set up a promotional discount code with Odoo sales. It really couldn't be simpler than that. Have a good one, bro doers.